You all have shown immense love to this wall. So today, I am going to make a miniature version of this wall. I hope you all enjoy it. Let's start by preparing the mud mortar. Iske liye you need some husk, mud and water. If you can manage clay soil or what we call as peely mitti, to that works the best. Now, you need to knead it properly for about an hour to make it smooth. Here my little boy had all the fun kneading it. Next, prepare the area where you want to make the wall and sketch out your design. Here I have worked out an 8 layer brick design. Now bring in the bricks and the prepared mud mortar nearby the area. Start by placing a brick at one end point and use a thread or sutli to demarcate a straight line towards the other end point. Now start placing the first layer of bricks along the thread line. When one row is complete, apply a layer of mortar and keep placing bricks maintaining the running brick point. Go on, keep filling the mortar and laying the layers up to two brick level. So according to the design, in the third layer, we need to keep a half brick wide opening or niche, one in the center and two at the sides. So accordingly, place the bricks at the opening first and then complete the layer. Similarly, go on placing the mortar and the bricks and making the next layers. After the fourth layer, leave two brick white space for the triangular niche or jaroka and go on completing the fifth, sixth and seventh layer. In the seventh layer, leave half brick white space to fit in angular bricks for the jaroka niche. Now bond the bricks at an angle using thick mud mortar. Layer it properly with mud mortar so that no gaps are left. Now leave it to dry for at least 24 hours. Once dry, it's now time to apply the outer mud finish. Use your hand to pick dollops of mud and keep applying on the wall. Once the whole wall is done, leave it to dry for a day. Once dry, you can simply paint the boundary of the niches and there you go. Your own little mud wall is complete and you are all set to enjoy a traditional rendezvous. Now style it your way by decorating with planters, artifacts or even diyas on special occasions. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.